can't say there's ever a boring day in the WNBA. You know, I wouldn't have thought I would really be talking about the Mercury and Sparks game, but there were sparks flying. See what I did there? As Brittany Griner and, and Rakia Jackson got into it, uh, heat of the moment sort of deal, of course, but it extended beyond that after the game. I mean, you had them out on the court uh, really going after one another in, in what was a, um, I mean, it was a pretty intense sort of thing for an on-court confrontation, uh, almost came to blows. And obviously BG is big. So you see here, she kind of swings her elbow and Rakia is talking a little bit and then pushes and then Griner comes up and raises her hands like she's going to fight. So not just some minor thing, like, you know, almost came to blows. I think it's fair to say they almost came to blows in that instance. And look, things happen. It's com competition. It's not the end of the world, right? Fine. But what took this story to another level was the social media activity afterwards. A lot of WNBA players seem to be chronically online, and that's a subplot of the season. Look, I'm chronically online because I'm looking for news and the like, but I've also learned over the years how to sort of ignore all of the, the noise and focus on the substance, if that makes sense. But Brittany Griner was on Instagram like moments after this happened. I don't know the exact timeline, but it was very shortly after it happened and was was clapping back at at folks on on Instagram. Um and, and Instagram I've always found to be kind of the meanest platform to be honest. Uh and and somebody said that's that's it back to Russia you go. Come and get me then. And then of course this other comment why is that man always trying to fight these women and she says MFs want to try and they can get this action. Look, I mean, that's one of the reasons Brittany Griner, like those sort of comments come up whenever she comes up as a topic of conversation, which takes it in a very ugly direction. But she clearly wasn't ready to duck the smoke right there, um, letting it go, firing off, responding in the comments section. And, and look, if you're going to say that sort of stuff, all right. You know, that, that, that fair game. Now, Rakia also was active uh, after the fact. And she had this to say. Somebody said, not Rakia running away. And she said, creating space for the size up, Boogie Butt. And that's fair, too. If you see, like, Rakia was trying to create some space. Because if you're going to throw hands, you need that clear shot. You don't want to be in too tight, right? Like, um, And we usually, I guess, with, with women, don't typically think of it in that realm and, and start talking about what a fist fight would look like. But that's what almost happened right there. And got to give her key a credit. She wasn't scared, right? She wasn't scared. And BG is a lot bigger than her, but Jackson um, was standing on business and Griner clearly wanted the smoke.